Our Lady of La Salette French, Notre Dame de la Salette is a Marian apparition reported by two children, Maximin Giraud and Milani Calvet to have occurred at La Salette Falavo, France, in 1846. On 19 September 1851, Pope Pius IX formally approved the public devotion and prayers to Our Lady of La Salette, referring to its messages of apparition as secrets. On 24 August 1852, Pope Pius IX once again mentioned the construction of the altar to La Salette. The same papal bull granted the foundation of the Association of Our Lady of La Salette, formalized on 7 September 1852. On 21 August 1879, Pope Leo XIII formally granted a canonical coronation to the Virgin Mary's image at the Basilica of Our Lady of La Salette. A Russian-style tiara was granted to the image, instead of the solar-type tiara used in its traditional depictions of Our Lady during her apparitions. There is also a sanctuary dedicated to Our Lady of La Salette in Oliveira de Azemaeus, in Portugal, a shrine in Attleboro, Massachusetts, in the United States, known for its Christmas lights, a chapel in San Miguel de Allende, Guanajuato, in Mexico. History In 1846 the village of La Salette consisted of eight or nine scattered hamlets. The population was about 800, principally small farmers with their families and dependents. On the evening of Saturday 19 September 1846, Maximin Giraud and Milani Calvet called Mathieu returned from the mountain where they had been minding cows and reported seeing a beautiful lady on Mount Sous Les Bases, weeping bitterly. They described her as sitting with her elbows resting on her knees and her face buried in her hands. She was clothed in a white robe studded with pearls, and a gold-colored apron, white shoes and roses about her feet and high headdress. Around her neck she wore a crucifix suspended from a small chain. According to their account, she continued to weep even as she spoke to them, first in French, then in their own dialect of Occitan. After giving a secret to each child, the apparition walked up a hill and vanished. After five years of investigation, the Bishop of Grenoble, Philibert de Brulard announced in 1851 that the apparition was likely to be a true revelation and authorized the commencement of the following of Our Lady of La Salette. This determination was later confirmed by his successor, Bishop Jean Olhiac. Message <inaudible> 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 account, the Virgin invited people to respect the repose of the seventh day, and to respect the name of God. She sorrowfully threatened punishment, in particular a scarcity of potatoes, which would rot. The context of these punishments places the warning just prior to the winter of 1846–1847, which was in Europe, and especially in France and in Ireland, a period of famine in the months which followed the apparition. This was one of the factors of the apparition's popular appeal. The message of the visionaries of La Salette focuses on the conversion of all humanity to Christ. John Vienne, John Bosco, and writer Joris Karl Heismans were all influenced by La Salette. The spirit of La Salette is said to be one of prayer, conversion, and commitment. Fr. Rene J. Butler, M.S. of the La Salette Missionaries of North America says. The whole purpose of the apparition of Our Lady of La Salette was reconciliation. Pope John Paul II stated, As I wrote on the occasion of the 150th anniversary, La Salette is a message of hope, for our hope is nourished by the intercession of her who is the mother of mankind. <laughs> Inquiry Sensation about Our Lady of La Salette arose when Milani and Maximin made their message public, which caused the Bishop of Grenoble to investigate the apparition. During the investigation, a number of accusations were made against the visionaries, including the assertion that the apparition was actually just a middle-aged woman named La Merlière. Topic secrets Topic No mention of secrets is made in the children's first accounts, presumably out of fear they would be compelled to disclose them. The children later reported that the Blessed Virgin had confided a special secret to each of them. These two secrets, which neither Milani nor Maximin ever made known to each other, were sent by them in 1851 to Pope Pius IX on the advice of Mgr. de Brulard. It is assumed that these secrets were of a personal nature. 
Maximin advised the Marquise de Montyard, ah, it is good fortune. Topic fate of the children Topic Maximin Giraud, after an unhappy and wandering life, returned to Cor Azir, his native village, and died on 1 March 1875. Milani Calvet died as a Catholic nun at Altamura, Italy, on 15 December 1904. Topic legacy Topic The missionaries of Our Lady of La Salette were founded in 1852 by B.P. Philbert de Brulard, Bishop of Grenoble, France, and presently serve in some 25 countries. The National Shrine of Our Lady of La Salette is located in Attleboro, Massachusetts. It is famous for its elaborate Christmas light displays. Topic references topic topic See also topic Marian apparition Our Lady of Fatima Visions of Jesus and Mary Léon Blois section Our Lady of La Salette topic External links topic Sanctuary of Our Lady of La Salette – Official website Missionaries of La Salette Official website Missionaries of La Salette Vocations website Modern History Sourcebook – The Apparitions at La Salette, 1846, Fordham Jesuit University of New York Basics on Apparitions, Univ. of Dayton Northcote, James Spencer a Pilgrimage to La Salette, or, A Critical Examination of All the Facts Connected with the Alleged Apparition of the Blessed Virgin to Two Children on the Mountain of La Salette, on September 19, 1846, Burns and Lambert, London, 1852 Ullathorne OSB, William Bernard. The Holy Mountain of La Salette, A Pilgrimage of the Year 1854, Oxford University, 1854 Dickens, Charles, History of a Miracle, Household Words, A Weekly Journal, Volume 18, Bradbury and Evans, 1858 Diocese of Grenoble at Catholic Encyclopedia La Salette, Dictionary of Mary. New York, Catholic Book Publishing Company, 1985 The Truth About the Secret of La Salette by C.R.C.